guys and welcome back to my channel oh my god there we go finally said it got out of my system if you don't know what I'm talking about check out my last video which is also like my first video where I talk about why I always wanted to say welcome back to my channel anyway hi guys welcome back thank you so much for joining me for another video and today as you can see from the title we're gonna be talking about 2021 resolutions first of all thank god it's 2021 like I don't know who else is with me like raise your hand it's finally 2021 and I know we're not out of the woods yet but it kind of feels like a fresh start like you know January 1st always feels like okay there's a fresh start you can start something new you can you know put your old habits or your old access or anything else all behind and just kind of like start fresh so so that's kind of what I want to talk with you guys today it's 2021 it's a new year a new me right I'm not so sure because you see I've always had a really difficult time with like really big resolutions and like changing you know deciding to change like everything in your life I just feel that sometimes when you take it like because when you decide something way too big you can kind of get confused and lost and maybe you try to change something the first week or the second week or even for a month but then I find that we all kind of have the tendency to fall back to our habits and you know and that's a bummer and I that's kind of the reason why I wanted to make this video because I want to give you some tips and tricks and tools that help me personally to kind of um, find my why into my you know 2021 resolutions and to actually not make these big huge goals but to actually try to like bring it down to like everyday things so that's kind of what I really want to talk to you guys today. And if I'm looking down here, I have some notes that I've come compiled for the video. So that's why I'm looking down. Um, so basically, um, first thing, I kind of want to see what are the things that I truly want to change? Because there's these big things that we kind of all want. You know, we all want to be skinnier. And well, most of us, not all of us, of course. And if you don't, good for you. You go, girl. Um, or guy, there's no, you know, discriminations in this channel. Um, and we all want to make more money or live in a better house or a new car. But I find that at first, like what helps me to get to what I really want is I kind of want to focus on the things that I really want to change. You know, not just like these big random things. That, like if I see my friend does it, I'll do it too. No, I really want to like bottom line to what I want to change in my life and what would be beneficial and best for me to change or to try to focus on this year it doesn't even have to be changed it could be like something I want to focus on and in the end of the video I'll tell you what are my 2021 resolutions and it's not things that I want to change as more things I want really want to focus on this year because I believe that where we put our focus on every single day is is what eventually going to lead to that change you know because that's what you do every single day and that is something that's really powerful in my idea so basically it's like breaking it down to daily habits because you have this big goal right but you don't really know what to do with it but I always I was always a firm believer that if you break things down to daily habits things you can do every single day to set you up for success that's what actually gonna get you closer and faster to your goal right because Think about it, because if you do things every single day or like every single week, that's the small things that are actually going to get you there other than like having these big decisions and, and trying to like find your way through them, right? So there's this really fun exercise that I like that, help, that helps me like break down what it is exactly that I want to change, right? Because there's these, um, you know, generic things that we all want, but you kind of really have to find your why and that's something I really really like you know you have to find the reason behind why you're doing what you're doing and not just leave it like some superficial reason because my friend is doing it or because I think it's going to be good and healthy for me right but because when you find your why you find a true meaning you find the true purpose of why you want to do the thing that you want to do and that kind of goes to everything in life you know in relationships and you know in parenthood and in the purpose of your life and and your career so there's this little exercise I really really like it you grab a pen and paper you write it down and you kind of just keep going at it until you really find a purpose I actually read it a while back in an article I will link the article down below so if you guys want to check it out it's a really cute article and it has that exercise like the why exercise so basically 
it's, it's you know, the, the name is simple. It's find your why, right? And what you do is there's like four steps to it. But like I said, you can keep doing it. Like, you know, mine can be shorter and yours can be longer. And it doesn't mean either of us is doing it wrong. It just means that maybe I need more or less steps to find my why and vice versa. So basically, it just helps you try to find like the deeper meaning of what you, why you're doing what you're actually want to achieve and not just have this generic goal of, you know, I want to be, I don't know, thinner, richer, whatever. Why are those the ones that I have in my mind? That's interesting. Anyway, that's for a whole other video. Okay, so basically what you do, I always, by the way, I usually try to pick like one or two things to focus on because I find that when you pick like, you know, when you want to change every, you know, other aspect in your life, that kind of makes you feel lost and that kind of make you, and that can make you feel a little bit like, like, oh my God, how am I going to change, you know, my entire life, right? So what I try to do and what I feel that would bring me closer to my goals is try to pick one or two big resolutions. Not like I want to do this and this and this and this, you know, and, and then just kind of like get lost in the mundane life in the middle of it. So, so that's my little tip and trick. Anyway, so you start by clearly stating what your goal is. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it right now just to kind of like um, show you what was my thought process when I was doing this. So um, let's say what, what I want, right? So I need to state clearly what is it that I want. Um, I wanna make more money, okay? I think that's something that's really relatable because in a way I feel like we all kind of want that, you know, and we always have that feeling if we hit just on a little bit more, we can do this and this, or, or you know, if you find want to find a new job, so it always kind of gives you a step forward, or that's kind of like something that I would feel I want to uh, focus on this year. So, and then you ask yourself why, why do I like th because you know, wanting to make more money is generic because every you know what I mean like everyone wants to make more money, right? Um, why why is that something that I want? Why is that the reason that um, that's something that should, um, motivate me to change my life this year, right? Okay, great. So second part of the exercise, I ask myself why, why do I want to make money? Um, I want to make more money because I want to buy a house and I want to help my family. Okay. So there's two things that I kind of came in here right now. And these two things are really powerful, right? So one of them is that I want to buy a house for me and my family. And that kind of makes sense because I want us, our family to grow and I want to have a place where I can call my own, you know, and I feel like I'm prepared to take that next big step in my life as to being a homeowner. And the other one is I want to help my family. That's also good, but it's not good enough. Let's, let's go even deeper. And, and the meaning of this exercise is that you really have to like sit down and you know block all noise and just be with yourself and kind of work really try to deep deep like why is this what you want you know helping your family is really great but again ask yourself why right so the third part of the exercise you ask yourself why again i know it, it sounds a little bit mundane but when you kind of sit down and you're kind of alone in the room and there's no music and you start thinking about these things i feel that after the first or second why, which are usually, you know, are a little bit up here, you know, they're usually like mundane and simple and, oh, I want this because I do, you know, the third and the fourth why, you kind of go down deeper. You kind of start digging in yourself, you know, and I feel like that really helps you find that true purpose, that true thing that you really, really want and why do you want it? So the third part, you ask yourself why again, right? And I'm asking myself, okay, why do I want to make more money to build a house and to help my family. So um, the reason for that being is that I want to be able to support my dad, right? So um, my dad is, uh, is um, getting his pension and he's not working anymore. And because of COVID, he can't really find work right now. Um, so that is the main reason why I really, really want to help him. He just moved to... Um, to a different apartment and he's missing a couple of things so that's a really strong why for me i really want to make sure that he has everything he needs and that he's not like worried about his next meal and stuff like that so that's really important to me so that would be one of my goals and the second goal 
um, the buying a house goal is something that I, um, I've been wanting to do for so, so, so long. And I feel like I've been going, I've been working really hard and going towards that step for a really long time. And I feel like it will make me more confident and more secure as a person, as an adult, knowing that I have my own home, that whatever happens, you know, prices may rise or may fall or, or whatever happens that I have a home that's mine and I'm not uh, dependent on someone else, right? Because I'm renting. So I'm not depending on someone else that can decide any day basically what they want to do, right? So that would be my third why. And like I, like I said in the beginning, and I'm pretty sure I did say that, that write everything down. Because when you see it on paper, it becomes that much stronger. Like you can actually see it and then you can reread it. And then I feel like it's a great way when you see it on paper that you can adjust what it is that you're, that you're writing, right? Sometimes you can, you can, you can say, okay, I wrote this down, but I don't feel it's like, it's completely accurate to me. Let me, let me ask myself why again and rewrite it. You know what I mean? So, and the fourth, um, part of the exercise is again, asking yourself, why, why do I want to make sure? Well, that's already kind of self-explanatory because like I said, you can, you, it doesn't have to be four steps, you know, it could be either two steps or three steps, or it can take five or six steps to kind of figure out what you really want, you know? And to me, I feel like I've already did on a third step. So I don't have to ask myself why again, I kind of feel that I have that purpose, right? So I want to make more money so that I can take care of my family, specifically my dad, specifically because I know he's not working right now, right? So that's a pretty strong why for me. I mean, that really makes me motivated and knowing that if I make more money this year, that means I can take care of him and that means I will feel, you know, good. Okay, so here's another why, right? I guess you can ask yourself why again and why do I wanna take care of my dad, right? And that would be because I would feel as not a good daughter if I wasn't helping to take care of him because at the moment it's my mom and she already has enough, you know? So I kind of feel like that would be my deeper level. Like I want to take care of him because I want to be a good daughter and I want him to know that he can rely on me and that I won't just, you know, kind of disappear um, when he needs me. So that's a really powerful why, you know? Your self-assurance as a good person, as a good daughter. So yeah, that's definitely a strong one. Um, and building a house, like I said, I kind of think I've already kind of reached to that why, to that deeper purpose of why I want to feel more confident as a person having my own house. So yeah. Anyway, um, like I said, uh, it's a really cute exercise and I think that it kind of really helps you break down those bigger, deeper, like resolutions, like, you know, um, like I said in the beginning of the video and I feel that that really helps to break down and kind of help you get your purpose faster. And, and because I mean, this takes about five minutes, seven minutes. It's really not that big of a deal. So that would be my way of kind of finding why, what is the reason behind the resolutions that I have this year and my two new year's resolutions, I promise you, I will tell them and here they are. They're not something crazy or big. So my two new year's resolutions are, Focusing in my career, which is one, because I kind of feel that as an actress and a content creator in the COVID time, a lot of things in LA were locked down and like the industry is kind of like very uncertain at the moment. And I felt like I kind of dropped the ball because, because of lockdowns, because of my own personal motivation and, and experience that were down with everything that's been going on in the world. So I really feel that 2021, I want to focus on my career and I want to like put my head back in the game and be driven and like get to, to, to mark down those goals that I want to achieve in my career. So that would be my main focus of the year. And my second um, resolution for 2021 is I want to create meaningful uh, new friendships. So I'll explain what that means. I recently moved from California to Texas and I live in Texas at the moment and I kind of feel that again because of everything that's been going on which is not an excuse by the way in my book um, that I've dropped the ball and I really didn't have time to kind of find meaningful new relationships and friendships and I feel kind of lonely because of that and I miss my friends a lot <laughs> And of course there's like, you know, WhatsApp and, and Zoom and you can be in touch, but still it's kind of just 
nice to have that person that lives in the same vicinity as you are. You can like, you know, go and grab a cup of coffee with out on the open with a mask, but still, if you know what I mean. So these are the two things that I would really want to focus, to put my focus in this year. And um, I guess we'll see how that goes. Anyway, thanks for sticking around. Hope this video helps. Um, I would love it if you can tell me in the comments what are your 2020 re resolutions and if you tried the exercise. I promise it's really, really, really good and it takes about like five minutes. So do it. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.